we're just driving into the park and we're already seeing these scenic tunnels that, that were carved out of the um, rock going through which is really spectacular really kind of cool too it gives you that kind of a uh, Utah arches look as you drive through the canyon this week we're going to Bryce Canyon National Park and it's just a day trip but it should be fun and behind us you can already start to see some of the scenery the um, I think they call them hoodoos the upward uh, columns of rock so we're gonna travel through we've never been here before not sure what to expect so we're gonna travel through we've got Monty and Zephyr with us so we're not gonna be able to do any hikes but we can do some you know walking around and, and seeing some of the sights and driving through the park should be a lot of fun yeah looking forward to it we've already noticed there's snow and uh, the temperatures are cooler than what we've been used to yeah yeah a little bit more winter like up here than it is down in uh, st. George area so around Zion but it's gonna be fun I yeah think we're looking, looking forward we're looking forward to it so yeah. um, come along on our journey today yep let's go Our journey begins on the Zion Scenic Byway and it takes us through the park up through to Carmel Junction where we get 89 and we take that right over to 12 and then into Bryce Canyon National Park. Visiting national parks, one of the first places you always want to stop at is the visitor center. It's a great way to learn a little bit about the park, get your orientation, and make a plan to get the most out of your visit. We're heading over there next, and of course, there is a gift shop, so you gotta be careful what you buy. We'll see how we make out on this trip. at the visitor center and spending a fortune at the gift shop we learned a little bit more about Bryce Canyon and are ready to head out on our driving tour of the canyon and check it out for this trip we're going to start from the visitor center and we're going to drive to the far end of the park and start there at Rainbow Point and from there we will drive back through the park and stop at all the different lookout areas to check out the view. We've made our way to the end of the road and we're all the way up to Rainbow Point. Which is the highest elevation in Bryce National Park. And it offers some of the best views of the valley below and the hoodoos and the other landmarks in, in this park. And if you plan on traveling here in January or any time during the winter, we found plenty of snow, it's very windy, and pretty cold. 
So yeah. make sure you have your winter weather gear with you. But, and the trade-off for that is you get some spectacular views. You get to see the valley with snow on it. You also don't have crowds and you can drive into the park and, and, and go to most areas where if you come between March and October, you'd have to take a shuttle to this area. There's no driving in this section of the park. Yes. So there's a good, nice trade-off for being able to come in this time of year if you can plan a trip. Right, yeah, like Randy said, there's not many people here at all. This is our new security system. This vehicle is monitored by Monty Security and, and Zephyr. Zephyr. Don't forget Zephyr. So if you want to break into our truck again, you're going to get bit. Right, right guys? <laughs> From Rainbow Point, our next stop will be Black Birch Canyon, where we'll stop and check out the view there. the park. Ponderosa Canyon is coming up next. Let's head there and pull in and see what we can see there. Ponderosa Point and check out the view. This is probably right now one of my favorite views. It's really very scenic and you got a nice nice look at a lot of the hoodoos here over the edge. It's very very nice. As we leave Ponderosa Canyon, the next place we want to pull into is Natural Bridge. The view should be pretty spectacular here. why this is called Natural Bridge. There's an arch. Next we want to head over to Bryce Point which is one of the main overlooks to the canyon and it was his name for Ebenezer Bryce who founded this area.
behind me is Bryce Point, and it's probably one of the most spectacular views in the whole park. It's the one that you see in all the pictures, and I probably couldn't take in enough pictures here while we're here. It's something that I'm sure you come here every time and it looks different. It, we had to go down this very icy path and hang on to the railing to make our way down there to get the the shots, but it was absolutely worth it. It's, it is the most stunning views, you know, most breathtaking views we've seen anywhere. We're at our final stop in our visit to Bryce National Park. This is Inspiration Point. We only went to one of the lookout areas. You can climb up and there are two other ones. Right now they're all covered with ice and snow. So we felt we didn't want to attempt it. But, you know, should we visit again in warmer weather, yeah. we will definitely climb to the top. Or we get spikes for our shoes. Right, right. If you come <laughs> during the winter, you want to think about getting some spikes for whatever shoes. Especially you if you're going to do any of the trails. Right. Yeah, they recommend it for that. Right. Yeah. So. so what do you think of Bryce Canyon? I thought it was spectacular. The views, um, the different landscape areas. Uh, there's a lot more trees and greenery. We didn't see any of the animals no uh, unlike what we saw at zion but it definitely is worth a day trip they do offer camping and i believe even in the winter maybe one of the campgrounds is still open yeah it's a good i mean you can do a day trip and drive through like we did this trip and just check out the lookout points you could come here and stay for a longer period if you're into the hiking and want to do more of the trails. Um, I think one of the neat things that might be fun to do here, especially during the summer when the buses are running, is to bring your bike and take the bike all the way up to Rainbow Point and then ride back through right. all the different areas and see them. I think that would be a lot of fun to, to do. And you'd be going downhill. Yeah, most of the way it'd be downhill, yeah. so it'd be a pretty easy ride. Yeah. So I would recommend something like that. I think, you know, we definitely will put this on our list of places to return to, you know, probably at a different season so we can see what it looks like maybe during the summer or the fall. But, you know, you got to come here in the winter too because it's just so different. Right, right. And you can drive through in the winter. Yep. I understand in the warmer weather you have to take the shuttle. Correct. Yeah. Definitely worth the visit. Definitely. Yeah. Well, that concludes our tour of Bryce Canyon. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't done so already. We post new videos every week. We'd love to have you follow around on our adventure. See you down the road, guys. Take care.